chip sector taking a hit after Fed Chair Jay Powell's comments on a possible rate hike increase this summer, trying in his own way to keep uh, inflation under control. Joining us now to talk about the impact of those comments on the sector and how the markets are holding up. And I think the answer is not well, but maybe he thinks it's better than we think. Gene Monster, Deep uh, Water Asset Management uh, Managing Partner. Gene, always good to see you. Uh, we've all been listening uh, so intently to what Jay Powell has been saying, and uh, folks in your space in particular have. Uh, and unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know what your view is, uh, they've been calling their broker and saying sell. Or maybe maybe nobody calls their broker anymore, but they just, they, like Jim Cramer would say, they just press the sell button. Yeah, I think that uh, that's exactly what happened for a couple days uh, this week. Yes, a little bit of rebound, and they're going to be another pullback today. And I think the message, of course, uh, from Powell is we're close, uh, but close doesn't mean we are there. And I think that there is a line that's being uh, developed here around being uh, tech visionaries for a lot of tech investors, uh, but also investors, the difference between envisionary and investing. And in the investing case, you need to take heed in terms of what Powell is saying. And he's saying uh, essentially a couple more hikes this year. The market is saying one hike. And we learned very well over the past year the importance of interest rates and what the impact is to these companies. And the dynamic here over the next six months is uh, more uh, at, there's more at risk with some of these tech companies. If you just look at the chip uh, sector, the top chip six, six names were down 5 percent over the last couple of days. And that compares to uh, you know, the broader uh, Nasdaq being down a couple percent. Uh, those stocks were up 90 percent year to date, nine zero. Uh, the Nasdaq's up 31 percent. And so I think what you're seeing is a very natural and I think very healthy understanding that, uh, that right. tech investors need to take note but here. I think the, the question is from here, from here on out, and I, I get the relative uh, issue you're talking about here, but from here on out, what do you think the upside and downside scenario is? Call it 12 months out. 12 months, we're optimistic. I think that uh, uh, that ultimately is... We are seeing continued acceleration of, of uh, what these companies are ultimately implying. And so I'm still optimistic on tech. I still think that, uh, you know, these companies are going to benefit, have huge benefit. And I think that's one of the, you know, so one you of don't the think they've already uh, run factors. because you could argue you could make the argument they already ran. You could. But you also, I think, so I want to be clear here. I think the next uh, six months, we're still not in the clear. I think there are a couple more rate hikes. I think that these tech stocks oh. are going to generally take a pause. Uh, the question so, about 12 months now, I'm much more optimistic. You're saying six months. What's the six months? I'm trying to understand. You're, you're talking about six months, and then you're talking about 12 months. What's the inflection point in the middle there? Rates are done going up. And uh, it probably happens the market starts moving up, uh, you know, once we've had, once we're in front of one more rate hike. I think there's two more rate hikes. And so we got one probably coming at the end of July. There could be, uh, they could pause for another uh, a meeting and then pick up again. But so I think by the end of the year, we're going to be in a much better but shouldn't position. shouldn't that already be baked? I'm sorry to interrupt. Shouldn't that already be baked into the cake? I mean, right, what you're talking about is, for the most part, the expectation, though I think there's actually... I think if you talk to Steve Leisman, a bigger expectation that actually we get even more rate hikes after that. Well, the reason why I don't think it's baked in the cake is what we have seen, the move we've seen over the last uh, six months in some of these companies. If you look at Bang plus Microsoft, uh, they're up 58 uh, percent this year. I mentioned the Nasdaq's up 31, the chip's up 90 percent. And so I would, I would say, you know, if there had been modest gains up 20, 30 percent in some of these names, out, given what's happened last year, I would say that uh, it, it is baked in. But I think that there has been a little bit more optimism. I think the market uh, is clearly um, making this case that we got one more rate hike. And uh, in some ways, it is uh, splitting hairs. I want to be clear. I'm optimistic about uh, where these companies are going. Uh, I think that we are going to get a, a pullback. I do right. ultimately think by uh, the time we get in front of that last rate hike uh, next year, 2024, is going to be a great year for these companies. So, OK, two things, Gene. If, if you want to play tech, you just talked about a pullback. Uh, is the idea that if you haven't put if you don't have cash in or you got cash on the sideline, you'd wait. The question is, what are you waiting for? And then the better question is probably let's not group them all together and just call it tech. If you could pick two or three stocks that you actually like. So the two I would pick is uh, Google and Apple. In terms of Google, recently in New York, met with a lot of buy-side uh, investors. 
And uh, the message was that they don't see Google as an AI company. They see the company having significant risk related to what's going to happen to the search business. I uh, uh, continue to hear this idea that they will have a transition around AI, and that's going to be negative for what's going to happen to earnings in the next couple of years. I believe that there will be a transition. I believe that there will be a headwind. But I think that investors are grossly underestimating what Google is going to do in artificial intelligence and the impact, the positive impact it's going to have for their business. And I'll just put this one piece out is that they uh, successfully navigated from um, uh, desktop to mobile. They've got 20 plus years of search data. That's gonna benefit uh, these insights. So Google would be at the top. And then second is Apple. They've been mum when it comes to AI. And I would just uh, put this out. You know, this is, I guess I buried the lead in our, our uh, conversation today, Andrew, is that Vision Pro is gonna uh, really surprise people. And I, I'm modeling that in six uh, years, that this is gonna be 20, uh, excuse me, 10% of Apple's business. I think that's gonna be a conservative number. I think ultimately uh, uh, developers are gonna get on board with this and spatial computing is gonna be a big deal. And so those are two names I would right. focus on.